on, Gregory from Living Style Care. As you can see, we're not in the gym. We are in a very special setting. Let me take you on a ride. This is a project that we put together with one of the leading figures of the law enforcement of our local police school. And we call it Tactical Kettlebell. Check this out. Oh my God. Aaron! This is my main man, Aaron. As you can see, watch this. We also have some kettlebells in here. Now, Aaron, what do you got here? Hello, everybody. This is an AR-15. Mm. It's from uh, Hector and Koch. Um, it's my uh, sportive weapon. All in all, it's uh, also used in uh, military or uh, law enforcement. Um, yeah, I'm using it here without the sling because for me it's uh, Sportive shooting, IPSC, IDPA. The, here we have uh, LPVO from uh, Burris. It's the RT6. Here we have uh, Burris uh, Fast Fire Free with uh, Arisaka 45 degree uh, optical mount. Some other nice gimmicks like a uh, bipod from Magpul. Nothing special, but working very good. AR-15 and stuff, you know, I I've heard about it, but I've only seen it in video games. This is the first time I've seen this thing in real life. So here you see, it's deloaded, it's a Glock 19X, customly cut it with a uh, Holo Sun uh, optic on it for a nice target acquisition, fast shooting. And we have uh, Streamlight uh, TLR1 HL tactical light on it. We have prepared some awesome drills that we're gonna do because the idea is we wanna generate some physical stress, not only physical, but also mental stress while shooting. That's the idea. That's the project. That's why we call it tactical kettlebell. So my question to you, Aaron, is does it make sense or is it just a gimmick? You know, playing around with kettlebells, but in real life situation, it's, it, it's useless or do we have some applicability? We have uh, big apl uh, applicability mm. um, in use of kettlebell in training mm. um, for, uh, for the mission. Um, so first one is you just get more physical, physical fit yeah. and to be physical fit is uh, just one part of the mission. You have to get like innovative training which you not have to do in live fire mm. and the kettlebell is a very nice tool um, to get those reps in, mm. to replace the rifle for to get the reps in yeah. or to use to, to put on more stress. That's what we're going to do. Stay tuned. just witnessed in this drill was the tactical get up maybe you have seen it watch it again in slow motion and watch how Aaron moves the tactical get up when we were setting together and putting together this drill I saw the tactical get up in the book from Pavel Tzatzelin simple and sinister so I watched it I 
took a look at these pictures and I was like, how does this dude get up? Yes, getting down, okay, but how do you get up with the weapon still cocked or still aiming down your sights and then getting back up without having to put the weapon down? This is what I was asking myself when I put together a string of movements that comes from the Turkish getup, where you work with the side hinge, where you really are able to get back up without having to use your hands. So Aaron, he was perfecting this drill, and this is how it all came together. So we call this the tactical getup or the Turkish gun up, and inspired by none other than Pavel Tatsulin. And this is the beautiful stuff when you work with professionals like Aaron is, these great synergies man it was awesome and he even talked to other experts in the field and they will take they were looking at this exercise and they were like wow i think i've seen it from somewhere from folks who know simple and sinister and others were like wow this you got to patent this move wow it's awesome so this is the tactical or the turkish gunner one two three four last one five stop Back up, let's go! Get ready! One, two, pop your hips! Three, four, last one! Five, done! Alright, last one, last one! Move! Get ready, set up, go! That's one! Two, pop your hips, come on, three, four, five, park the bell. Boom. When he goes down, what do you think? He just grabs the gun and starts shooting and he's not safe? No. Keep going, Aaron. So he grabs the gun, he's safe, and then he shoots. Boom, boom. Now you can come back up, Aaron. And now what we do is he runs over to the 32 kilogram kettlebell and now he's doing a hard style swing. So now when he's ready, what are we doing? He tenses his body. He goes down in the triangle and then he starts swinging. The beautiful thing about this drill is coming up from a, from a gun where you got to treat it like it's loaded, be safe, come back up. We don't run over and do something like this because it's dangerous. So that's a very beautiful comparison of how the gun and the kettlebell are related. So now what happened in that drill was something that was unexpected. I thought it was intentional, but it wasn't. This one is deloaded completely, it's checked. What happened to me? Um, we were filming the stages, discussing um, all the topics, and now what did I do? I was manipulating into the holster because I'm like a pro, I'm an instructor, I have um, a lot a lot of uh, years on the street. And what did I do? Putting the magazine into my into my gun and I, I was not locking it. So then what happened? We had uh, the TQ drill. So where uh, Gregory was putting myself uh, a kettlebell on the arm. So I was like hit. 
and had the kettlebell in place so I could not use the arm. So what happened, I was pulling the gun out, I wanted to shoot and because it was not locked, you see it here, the magazine dropped out. So what did I do? Pull the gun back, identify what happened, tried to do a, a solution, okay, did not work. So I was putting it back in, went for the second magazine. I really could not use this arm because I had the kettlebell and was wounded. Putting it in, securing it, taking it out and loading it, okay, over the optic. And then I could keep going with shooting. And the aim also here of using the kettlebell is really to show you when you have like a, a shot in your arm, in your shoulder, maybe you have some, uh, maybe there's a hit of your mechanical, of your, of your uh, shoulder joints or anything, and you really cannot use this arm. Ammo! Ammo! Move! 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 Okay guys, something very interesting happened now. And Aaron can explain it, but it has to do with routine. That's what I always say. 
when you get tired, and that's the idea of kettlebells and, and, and the physiological stress. What happens is you get tired. And once you get tired, you may lose your focus and your body will automat automatically switch into your automated systems, into your routine. Yeah, so we made uh, that stage two times. First time we were uh, really checking everything. Like I had in each rifle mag, I had six shots to do a proper reload with my fast mags from my belt. And then I was thinking, no, it's bad that I have no shots left to reload on the, on the, last, on the last round, on the final round. So I just took two more into the last mag, which is my second fast mag. So normally I grip first that one in here and not that one back down there. So I put it in there and what happened? Uh -huh. In stress, heavy load, pumping blood into my brain and everything. I was pressing, taking the last one. So what happened? I had to do a tactical reload on the second round, on the stress, and it was super fast. Mm. Second, I was doing the, the last mag into my dump pouch in here. And as it shows, while I'm doing burpees, while I'm running, while I'm carrying ammo, I did not lose anything of my equipment. So my setup as it is now is reliable. But what I have to mention about and what I have to think about for the competition which I'm training for, if I am using my fast mag in future below, because on the stress, uh -huh. I'm gripping more below, yeah. obviously. Obviously, because it's routines. So there's an uh, interesting technique even in training that we use, it's called pre-exhaustion. So what you do is you keep training, you keep training, you get tired, you exhaust yourself and then you try to work on your technique because then the flaws will be on display, it will be highlighted. You tape yourself and you see the flaws and then you can come back to it. And if you're 100% safe, then even when you get tired, your automated systems are built upon that routine. So routine is key, guys. Actually, guys, uh, the reason why I said yes to this is because I can get to shoot a gun. <laughs> hey, you want to try the foul ammo? Uh, with the tension, how much tension do I have to have in my finger or on my shoulder? Because you will see it. Okay, I it's, like it's, this. It's not that tough. It's not okay. a shotgun with like a magnum okay. ammo or anything. And okay. uh, now you're on the target. I see it. You see it? Place the safety up. Ready? Ready? Here. Woo! All right. Two or three. And one more. One more. Come on. Bam, bam, bam. Come on. Oh, nice. <laughs> so now you bring it on into a 45 degree and bring a shot. Yes. And now keep going, yeah? Oh yes, my. come on, hold Mac, hold Mac, come on. Alright, on Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that feels awesome! But once you feel it, you get a hold of it. Yeah. But this baby's heavy. Because of that, train with kettlebells, guys. Yes, sir. Perfect, a little bit like that. Nice. And now on the trigger. And shoot. Nice! Very good. Very good. Nice. Together and forward, but now do not cross your thumb. Ah, forward, forward, forward. And ah, keep no, going. Nice. Nice. Yep. Damn. You're doing good. Ooh. He was on the pressure point. Boom. Shot was going. He was holding it forward. And then he took the rest. That's something a lot of shooters don't get like in years. If you now look to the target, he was, most of all, he was in the alpha zone. So I'm an alpha baby, that's how I do it. <laughs> nice man. Yeah. Great. The world of kettlebells is dominated by two training styles called heart style and kettlebell sport. Although vastly different in nature, they have been proven to work and give you the most bang for your buck. Whenever you pick up a kettlebell, if you apply the technique correctly and are able to differentiate between the two. Now for beginners, this task might be understandably confusing. With our upcoming hybrid style masterclass in 100 lessons, you will embrace the emergence of the hybrid style movement where you will learn how 
how to combine the best of both worlds and become a master at handling the kettlebell. Join the next revolution in kettlebell training now and sign up for our early birds list to stay up to date and receive an exclusive discount in release week. Link is in the description.